All right, so this problem is about a golf ball and a baseball. And if a golf ball is dropped from the top of a skyscraper, uh, four seconds later, a baseball is then dropped downward with a speed of 65 meters per second. And it wants to know, uh, we'll start out with how long until the baseball catches up to the golf ball. Uh, so we have our variables V0, V final, A, delta X, and T. And we want to know uh, positive. For this problem, since everything is down, I'm going to call positive down. And now we got to kind of look at the problem and see what's given. Uh, we got a column for our baseball and a column for our golf ball. And the golf ball is dropped, so that means the initial velocity of the golf ball is going to be zero. Uh, it says that the baseball is thrown downward. We said down is positive, so that's going to be 65 meters per second for the initial velocity of the baseball. It says that the baseball is thrown four seconds later. Uh, so one of these gets T and the other gets T plus 4. And we have to remember that since the baseball is thrown later, the golf ball is in the air longer. And that means that the golf ball gets the T plus 4 because that T represents how long it's in the air. So now let's look at the delta F for each. Uh, we see that the golf ball goes some distance and the baseball leaves the same spot and when they catch up they'll be at the same spot so the golf ball will call that distance x and for the baseball we also call that x so we get x for delta for both of those um, remember down is positive and gravity is always down um, then the acceleration because of gravity so the acceleration is positive 10 because we call it down positive uh, so that's in there for the baseball and also for the golf ball so now we're ready to start solving, except we don't know three things for either one. Uh, but uh, we do know two things, and we have a link between the other two. We know that the x's are equal, and the time for the baseball, and then we have time plus four for the golf ball. So we can set those together. So with the variables that we have, uh, what equation links those? Well, uh, we have v0, we have a, we have delta, and t. Uh, so that would be delta x equals v0t plus one-half at squared. And we set that up for the golf ball, and V0 is 65. The time we use T. For acceleration, it's 10. And for time, it's T again, and it's T squared. Then we do it for the golf ball. We got X. The initial velocity is 0. Time for the golf ball is T plus 4. We have 1 half. The acceleration is 10. And then we have T plus 4 squared. So the X's are equal. Uh, which means we can set the other sides of the problem equal to each other. So we have that written out. And we put down our golf ball and baseball part. The t plus 4 squared, remember we need to foil that out. So we're going to end up with t squared plus 8t plus 16. And that's going to go in for our t plus 4 squared. Now we need to bring the blue part down. And we distribute that 5 across. So we get 5t squared. 5 times 8 is 40. So we have 40t. And 5 times 16 is 80. The 5t squareds cancel. We need to subtract 40t from each side. So it leaves us with 25t equals 80. And after we divide both sides by 25, we find out the time it takes is 3.2 seconds. So that means the golf ball was actually in the air for 7.2. Then we bring that back up and write our answer in. Now let's look at how far down uh, the golf ball is when it gets caught. Well, we have our x equation for the golf ball. We just need to substitute our values now. So we put our 7.2 seconds squared in there and we do the mathematics and we find out that the distance is 259 meters. So we can put that up there and answer that question. Then last we want to know how fast each ball is moving. Uh, for the baseball we have v final equals v0 plus at. 65 is v0, 10 is our acceleration and our time of 3.2 seconds. And we calculate all that, and we get 97 meters per second. For the golf ball, we have V final equals V0 plus AT. Initial velocity is 0, acceleration is 10. And time for the golf ball, remember, we add 4 seconds more, so it's 7.2 seconds, which gives us 72 meters per second for the golf ball.